Hi gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thank you very much for uh, making a little time out of your busy day to watch the video. It's always appreciated. And guys, today we're going to be talking about distractions, about how anglers uh, on the water, they're distracted. They don't even know they're distracted, about how their mind is always busy. And we're going to be giving you guys some tips and advice on how to quiet your mind and some things that you can do. Um, so it's really going to help your focus, which will eventually help you catch fish because so many people out there, guys, they fish distracted 95% of the time. They don't even know about it. <clears throat> so we're going to get into that. So real quick, guys, just want to remind everybody, um, if you guys are interested and you like the content here on the channel and you want to help support the channel, one of the best ways is to become a channel member and members get extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public and some access to my personal email address for your fishing questions. And if you're interested on my YouTube, right at the my main YouTube page, there's a little join button. You can click that and get info or go to the about section of my YouTube homepage and click on intuitive membership. So much appreciated. Okay guys, um, the reason I wanted to do this is, uh, it, what I mean, I've, I've talked about this a little bit before, but specifically, AirPods. Now, if you guys, most people know what AirPods are, and I did, I made a post on Facebook talking about them. Guys, AirPods, in my opinion, suck because what they have done, they basically make people totally distracted all the time and not interacting with any other people. I have got, you know, Owen is 14 years old and he lives with AirPods in his ears. You guys know how distracting it is to try to carry on a conversation with an ear pod addict. It's ridiculous. This is just one element though, because I think what happens is, and the point of the video is that people in general, and especially bass fishermen in today's age as technology advances, um, their mind never is quiet. They've always got to have chatter going on in their mind. They've always got to have stimulation going on in their mind. They always have to be entertained. Um, if they don't got AirPods in, they're listening to something, they're talking, they're thinking about something, they're <clears throat> glued to their, you know, live scope or whatever. But anyway, their mind never shuts down. And one of the things that we're losing in fishing and one of the aspects of fishing that is dying out to a large degree as technology advances is the ability just to be quiet and be okay with being quiet and be okay with being silent because... You guys have watched the channel here, you know, I haven't, I don't, I haven't listened to the radio <clears throat> in my truck in 15 years. I, the last truck I had before I got this one here, the radio broke about a year into the truck. I never did get it fixed. I don't listen to the radio ever when I'm traveling because it, it gives me time when I'm driving to think. I can actually think and I can solve problems and I can figure things out. I don't want to be distracted. I don't want to be listening to music or something like that that has my mind in a different place. And that's the same when, you, when you're on the water, guys. It's like when you're on the water, you have got to revert and go back to just being there. And the only stimulation that you have in your mind is what the stimulation in nature is going out there. The sound of the wind through the trees, you know, the birds on the bank, the wildlife on the bank. Yeah, there is some distraction about noises, man-made noises, that type of stuff, but just the water lapping against the bank and focusing on what you're doing. Because right now, it's like so many people, I see them, they go fishing. It's like, number one, they can't, they can't stop talking. It's like they, as soon as they get in the boat, they just got to be talking. And you can't fish and talk at the same time effectively. It's like nobody's mind has the ability to focus 100% on every single cast that you make and visualize and everything that comes along with fishing and try to carry on a conversation at the same time. That's why I'm real adamant about not talking in the boat when I go fishing because I want to focus on fishing. I don't want to, I don't want my energies to be divided. It's the same with you guys that are having ear pods. The best thing you can do is take those ear pods and put them in the trash and don't ever put them on again because it's distracting. Same with the radio, guys. You guys don't have to listen to music on the way to the ramp. Just quiet your mind and think about what you're doing. You don't have to be overly stimulated. You know, you don't have to be staring at some electronic screen for eight hours a day. Try to focus on the natural world. Try to focus on the, the stimulus that you're getting from nature and the clues that you're getting from nature 
and be with yourself. Most people that I find in public anymore, or people in general, they're very uncomfortable about being with yourself. And when it comes to fishing, you can't discount how important alone time is. I think it's very important for people to fish alone as much as they can, alone and quiet. Because when you do that, you learn so much more about yourself and you get comfortable with yourself. So many people today are scared to be alone. They're scared to be with themselves. They're scared to be with their own thoughts. And they've got to constantly have something externally stimulating themselves. They can't just focus and think. But I can assure you guys, if you go out there and you get up in the morning, don't turn anything on, don't turn your radio on, don't turn any whatever on, go to the lake, <clears throat> just focus on fishing, focus on every single cast that you make, make your casts, focus 100% of the time on visualizing that lure coming through the water and picturing a fish to hit it, and then do that every single cast of the day. Don't think about anything else. Don't, don't feel you have to be stimulated by anything else. At the end of the day, if you're not mentally exhausted from that, you probably haven't put in the whole work. Now that is fishing on a primal level. That is fishing on a pure level. And so much of that now has been polluted by technology or that has taken people away from that and they're losing that skill. They're losing that skill of quiet and serenity and peace that um, holds so much intrinsic value in fishing. So anyway, point of the video guys is quiet your mind. You don't have to be stimulated. Get rid of those damn AirPods. Turn your radio off. You don't need it on. Don't be blabbing to your partner in the boat. Just fish. Just like they said, shut up and fish and focus on what you're doing there. And it will add up to a lot more success and, and, and a byproduct. You will learn a lot more about yourself as a result. So, you know, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys.